and welcome to this two-minute tutorial on compare mode in WKO. The topics will cover comparing athlete data, comparing workout data, and a couple of tips and tricks. All right, let's just jump right into a demo. Again, the easiest way to understand it. You've recently probably watched or hopefully have watched the uh, Right Hand Explorer Time Ranges uh, two-minute tutorial, and now you have a list of time ranges here. Uh, one of the strongest functions in WKO and the best ways to compare data. I'm on my Mac now, so I'm going to use the command button. But if I was on my PC, I would use the control button. I'm simply holding command down and I'm going to select a second time range to compare to the one. I already have 90 days selected. Now I'm going to select 2018 as an example. I select the two. You notice they spend a little time building. And now here in my power duration chart, you notice a couple of things. One, it looks like some bad data in 2018. This is not my uh, everyday data set, but it still gives us an excellent example. And if I happen to hover over right there at two seconds, right, we can see a pretty big difference in that mean max power curve. In the last 90 days, it's 1,033. In 2018, it was 3,262 watts for two seconds. Clearly a data spike. Um, I'd love to tell you I could spend it 3,200 watts, but not possible. So the compare mode allows you to select multiple ranges. And if I look out here at like 10 minutes, uh, last 90 days is 291 versus 2018 of 296. You can do that for all different data formats. If I scroll down a little bit on my chart set here, I can see the same. And what you see here, right, is it's overlaying different data as a matter of fact, because of that data spike, my 2018 isn't calculating, but I'm still going to use this chart because it's a pretty good example. As a matter of fact, what I could probably do is let's see if I have a year. So I'm deselecting. I went back to my 2000, or I'm sorry, I went back to my last 90. Let's select 2019. Maybe I have some better data in here. Yeah, it looks much better, right? Okay, so now you can really see the difference between the power duration curves and the MMPs. I could have done this as 2017 versus 2019, you know, whatever data you want to compare. And if I was to scroll down to the chart here, and it gets pretty busy, right? But it's actually pretty cool. If I could look at five minutes, I can really see um, the difference between my power duration curve and my anaerobic and aerobic contribution. I was definitely in one type of shape versus another at this time. It really helps me compare. Well, what if that leads me to say, well, what about 2016? Well, again, I'm handing, holding down Command or Control, and I select, and you will see that, bam, it allows me to compare all three years. So there's three years worth of day, or well, last 90 days, 2017, 2016. This is the one of the most powerful functions that you can utilize in WKO. Now, sometimes you'll see like word charts, it does that. Here's two tricks, right? This is typically when the configuration is set to overlap. So you can reconfigure that chart, set them both to zoom and separate, and you'll see the first selected data. But what if I wanted to see all the data? If you double click on the, um, the bar here that highlights, it puts it into zoom mode. I don't have any titles, right? It's not a great example, but you can see there's all three pieces of your data. I can easily go back to my power duration model when I'm done zooming in on that. Simple trick there. We get the question, does that work in workouts also? Sure, just click on workout. You know, I can look at a ride. The ride might have some intervals or something like that in it. Let me see real quick if I can find some intervals here. Sure enough, there's three intervals. Let's just say I wanted to, let me see if I could find some similar lap times. So I can choose lap eight. Now, when I choose lap eight in the ride, you notice it zoomed in on it, but I'm going to go into the intervals. So it zooms in on that. So now I'm going to hold the command or control button down. I'm also going to pick lap 10 because I can see that's 10 minutes. So that was the second. And lap 12, that was, you know, the same. Suddenly, look, I have the power, the trends, everything on each one of that data. This was done on a trainer, so it looks like they're all pretty exactly equal, right? Not a lot of variance um, in those. I want to see the compared data. Here they are, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, all around 1.0 IF. There you see the watts that were being done. So you have all of the data and the information that you need and compare. 
You can just keep selecting more or less intervals if you want more data in there. It's totally up to you. I've seen people trying to auto identify everything now and auto compare it. It really actually is more work because it leads to errors and mistakes in my opinion. Just select the map laps, use your compare mode, and it's a very powerful tool. Thanks.